Hey guys, uh, this is Surya from Skilllink. When I speak to a lot of undergraduate engineers who are graduating, one question that I constantly hear from them is, I do not know what domain I want to specialize in. I do not know what is my area of interest, but I want to get into a core mechanical engineering company. So this is what they usually say, right? So I have devised a simple trick for you to help them out in understanding which is their domain of interest or if you are that guy this is uh, how you can determine what your domain of interest is right so i'll explain how i how i come up with this model at the end of the video but let me explain this model first right you're a fresh mechanical engineer you're in your second year third year fourth year or you graduated and you want to get into a core engineering job but you do not know what is your domain of uh, expertise right so here is how you determine it so in engineering, you would learn fluid mechanics, thermodynamics, heat and mass transfer, gas propulsion. If these four courses are something that made you uh, very interested in engineering, that is, if you liked these four courses, then your domain that you need to choose is computational fluid dynamics. Right? So some courses that you can take up in uh, Skilllink on computational fluid dynamics is CFD using MATLAB and OpenFOAM, advanced uh, CFD using ANSYS Fluent. Then we have Converge, a variety of courses in Converge, Aerodynamics using uh, Converge, IC Engine using Converge, IC Engine Simulations using Converge. Uh, then if you are really good at math, in addition to these, definitely recommend MATLAB and OpenFOAM and Python course in our platform. And one other course that I would uh, recommend, which is not here, is Computational Combustion using Python and Cantera. Right? So this is how you determine if you are interested in computational fluid dynamics based courses, right? So fluid mechanics, thermodynamics, heat and mass transfer, gas propulsion, then these are the courses that you can take up. Say this is not your bread and butter. This is not what you are interested in. Then let's come to stage two. Are you interested in strength of materials? Are you interested in design of machine elements? Are you interested in finite element analysis? So anything that comes with stress analysis, uh, strain analysis, displacement analysis, if you're interested with that, then I would definitely look into FEA based courses. The uh, one additional course that I haven't written over here is vibrations, right? If you include vibrations as well. So these three plus vibrations, then the courses that you should definitely take are based upon FEA. FEA is the domain that you should look into, right? So if you are really good at this, but not a good at math, then you can take uh, pre-processing using ANSA, uh, pre-processing using a hypermesh, or uh, as introduction to FEA using ANSYS Bird Bridge, right? But if you are good at math, and if you are good at these three, these four topics, then you should take up uh, FEA using ls you should be good at MATLAB and Python, uh, again, ANSYS Workbench, ANSYS IcePack, Crash Worthiness Analysis using uh, Radius and Hypermesh, right? These are the some of the courses and uh, that you can take up in Skilllink if you are good at these three domains, okay? So, okay, these three uh, subjects you don't like, right? So, let's come to the next part, design. So, if you are interested in design of machine elements or engineering graphics, say, if you are interested in something like that, then what you should do is you should basically take uh, advanced sheet metal design. You should learn plastics uh, modeling, surface modeling, solid modeling, sheet metal modeling, body in white design, body in white picture design in either of these software, SolidWorks, CATIA, NXCAD. In any of these softwares, you can learn. Probably CATIA and NXCAD is more uh, used in the industry. So if you learn these things, you can definitely get a design engineering role in a fourth engineering domain, right? So, okay, I don't like any of these. I like robotics and kinematics, right? I like vehicle dynamics. Then the course that you need to do is multi-body dynamics uh, using motion view and motion solve or MSC Adams vehicle dynamics, right? So this is where you basically look into uh, steering kinematics, suspension design and everything, right? So multi-body dynamics or vehicle dynamics is something that you need to take and look into in robotics and kinematics, right? So if you, if you ever face someone or if you are that guy who does not know which course to pick up, right? 
or if you are counseling someone on which course to pick up uh, the course or the domain that you need to look into is based upon how well you liked these one of these courses uh, as i said in the beginning of the video the hypothesis is so if you like any of these courses then you will do well in those specific domains right so this is how you basically can determine what your area of interest is and what course you can take in spitting okay great hope this video was helpful thank you so much catch you later